what's up everybody this is Gunter Severlo this is a basic guide to Arma 3's RPT what is the RPT and why is it important the RPT is a log file that the game generates every time Arma 3 is started why is it important it's important because it will show any errors or any issues that you were having with the game your game could be crashing or it could have some other errors related to missions not loading, script errors, or various other codes related to models or configs. Where is the RPT located? The RPT can be located under your computer, local disk, users, your username, app data, local, and then Arma 3. Another way to do this is to go to this page. I will provide this linked in the description of the video, but go down to where it says Windows Vista 78. Go to this bar here, highlight it, and copy it. And then go to your C drive. So just open your my computer, go to your local disk C drive, and in the address bar, which is at the top here, paste that code into the address bar, and then press the arrow key to the right here, and it'll take you right to that folder. How does the RPT work? Let's go to the Arma 3 launcher and start it up. At the left here is the word parameters. Let's click on it. And at the bottom of the list is no logs parameter. When the game is started, an RPT is generated. When this box is checked like it is currently, the RPT is not written into. What that means is no errors or issues related to missions, mods, configs, or even crashes of the game are written into the RPT. So the RPT won't be blank, but you won't see any errors listed in it. If you uncheck this box, then any errors with missions, mods, scripts, code, or even the game crashing will be listed in the RPT. We are in the folder where the RPTs will be located at. I have generated two RPTs. One RPT was generated with the no log parameter checked. That means nothing will be written in the RPT other than basic stuff, no errors or anything. Then I have a second RPT where the no logs parameter was unchecked, which means that any errors or any issues with the game will be written into this RPT. If you take a look at this RPT, you'll notice this difference in size. Look at this RPT and you notice the difference in size. They can get a lot bigger than that, so don't take this as, you know, a final, like, oh, it's only going to be 60 kilobytes. No, it'll, it depends on the game, what you're playing, any mods loaded, etc. How do we open an RPT? RPT can be opened with a notepad document, so basically you could just double click and let's take a look at the RPT with the no logs checked at the top of the RPT you'll get the drive the steam apps common and what exe was run normally the arma 3 64 exe and then under that you'll get any parameters other parameters that you were running so I used skip intro no splash and we you could also see the no logs here there were no mods run and the e battle eye was running so you have your timestamps when the RPT was generated base of the game so it's a public stable build and this is the version of the game and then these are your computer specs in terms of memory and then you have information on the DLC which go all the way down and that's about it let's take a look at the RPT with the no logs unchecked so open it with notepad and it's the same setup but if you scroll down and you get past the DLC, the DLC part, then you get these timestamps that the RPT was initiated. And then if you scroll down, you'll just see a lot of different stuff being written. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. 
So this is basic stuff that's been loaded. There's not no no issues with the game. You know, you got your DLCs, you got the basic add-ons of the game itself. Directories and so forth. And sometimes you'll get, you know, warnings or whatnot, but some of these can be ignored. How do we determine which is the latest RPT if I have multiple RPTs? Now let's say you have an issue with the game and you go to the forum and someone asks for your latest RPT. And let's say you had more than two or even if you just had two. How do we determine which is the latest one? The latest one, here's how you read the titles or the labels of the RPT. The RPT starts with Arma 3 underscore times 64. So that's basically the game and what platform it's on. So you have 64 means 64 bit. Next is 2020, which is the year. Then next is the month. And then you have the day. Then you have the hour, the minute, and then the second. So usually the RPT will be the last log file on the list. So if you have multiple RPTs, just look at the date and compare. Here on the wiki is the ARMA RPT and this goes into details about information about the RPT, its location, example RPT, list of fixes for different types of errors, and if you go to crash files this has information on the crash files, RPT, location of the RPT, and other information. On another reference we have PMC editing wiki this has some information about the Arma RPT file, what it does. Then there's a list of errors, causes, and fix. So if you have an issue with the game, no matter what it is, there is a list of different causes and fixes for each of those causes. Lastly, we have the debugging technique page on the wiki. And this has to do with scripting, code, errors, finding errors, and also talking about RPT files and other aspects. These are references that you could use to help you with the RPT and codes and other aspects. So I will have these four pages linked in the description of the video. And I want to conclude the video with that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.